All right, well, um, I told the guy on YouTube I'd make a video of my GZs. I don't mind them, they're just a little bit dusty here, so, you know. I've had them for a really long time, almost 20 years. Neighbor kids keep begging for them because they keep helping with their cars. They want them so bad, they want to trade everything for these. And I refuse to give them up. They're, um, GZ Engineering 10s. <clears throat> when I bought them, they came with paperwork. They were a uh, prototype type of speaker where the um, there was a resistor inside to where when they started to get too hot or the coil was taking on too much power, it would auto-resist itself. I don't know how the hell they did it, and I don't know what's going on in there, but that's what they did. That's why there's so much room inside that coil. Um, these are prototype speakers, as you can see. Um, they do have the plastic inside there um nothing real fancy not with their uh you know not the fancy square ones that are big and blocky but i guarantee these things are massive this the magnet on this is at least double stacked they are massive and i tell you they're only 350 watts um they're 350 watts rms or 600 or 800 peak for these tens when I bought them I believe that's what it was I mean it was god it was 20 years ago but I still have them I don't really like playing them because if I was to completely blow them up or anything like they're not blown up at all they they work just like the day they were brand new you could pound the living snot out of them but before I hook them up um I have a box that a buddy of mine got i made him a deal on it um it had a big hole in it it's in one of my other videos um i got a set of planet audio tens in this box well i wanted the box i didn't care about the planet audios but they came with a deal so i hooked him up with everything in his car from you know i'm rambling but who cares um i hooked him up with everything in his car from door speakers three-way door speakers to a sub in a trunk with an amplifier all the wires to hook it all up all the connectors and everything and um he had a radio but i helped him make it where he wouldn't lose the stations when everything was turned off and everything he's just a young kid he's doesn't know exactly what he's doing um but yeah here they are gz engineering tens um you see i've got audio stuff well, how do I turn it back on? My flash just turned off. I guess I'm going to cut this video here. Um, I have no idea why my flash turned off. I don't know if I bumped something or whatever. But, yeah. GZ Engineering 10s. Um, he gave me a box. The box was beat. It had gotten wet. Separated on the sides. It's what made the Planet Audio sound bad. Which is how I got them in a deal. But there's actually really nothing wrong with them. Um, but I'm going to take the box apart, go buy three quarter inch plywood, rebuild the box with three quarter inch plywood, put these in it. It's a box with a uh, 10 on both sides and one of them great big square ports in the middle. Four tens. I think it's 1.5 cubic foot is what these are recommended. Uh, 1.5 cubic foot box ported each speaker. When I bought them, I bought them 20 years ago. That's what they recommended, I remember. 1.5 cubic inch, 350 watts, RMS, like 600 watts peak or 800 watts peak. I remember which is that. I think it's the 800. But they are not dual voice coil. They're single voice coil. Um, four inch kept on coils. Um, but they're supposed to have like a bigger wrap in them or something. I, I don't know, the GZ guy, I was a kid. All I saw was this big, huge foam on the back of it. And the paperwork said two and three quarter inch throw range, top to bottom, um, before you could ever even come close to hurting them. So I had to buy them. They were $75 a piece. I was just a young kid, you know, working at fast food restaurants and bagging groceries and stuff at the time. But I had to have them. I just, I had to, had to buy them. Nobody could talk me out of them. Parents tried to talk me out of them. Had $150 to... I was going to buy a laptop. 
while I was at the bazaar and I bought these instead. Good thing I didn't buy a laptop. It would have been junk by now. And these things are just going up in value like you wouldn't believe if you can get your hands on them. But I'll never let mine go. So I guess I'm at five minutes. I'll go ahead and stop recording. Another quick view of it, kind of in the dark, but you know, they got the it's actually plastic in there, but ah. oh well, you can't see now it's dark.